everybody welcome back to my channel my name's Rachel and this is Stitched Up so today's video is going to be my plans for March and we're already a week in um, those of you that have been following me uh, for a while and saw my last vlog will know that we've been um, experiencing some flooding over the last week or so so I'm very very behind on all my sewing plans and I've not sewn anything for a couple of weeks actually and I'm struggling to find my mojo a little bit so I thought what I would do is have a look through my stash and my patterns and pull a few bits together that I think I would like to sew in March and it's been a very nice spring-like week this week the weather is you know it's nice and calm considering what we've been through and the sun has been shining and I'm feeling more spring-like so I seem to have picked a number of things that yeah I seem to have picked more shirts than anything I'm getting into shirts and shirt making at the minute and yeah the, the things that I've picked out of my stash are sort of leaning towards shirts and shirt dresses and um yeah mostly tops as well so I think that um yeah I think that March is going to be a month of sewing tops and shirts and shirt dresses so I've picked out probably about six or seven things all together and I don't know how much of this little pile I will get done but um, we'll see how we get on. So the first thing that I've picked actually is a pattern that's just come through a couple of days ago and this is Vogue V9330 which is this one here. I will put a better picture of it up here so you can have a look but I love this pattern. Vogue have a, I think it's 40, is it 40% off or half price at the minute um, and I really love the pink version there which is view B I believe um it's lovely i love those sleeves and yeah i really really want to make that so i have picked out some fabric which i've just bought from lamazi fabrics in fact just hang fire and i'll grab it to show you right so this is it here and i've just grabbed it out of my dryer actually because it's just been pre-washed but it's gorgeous this is a knit fabric obviously there's the reverse side and it is a fluffy gorgeous pale pink knit it's quite a heavy fabric it's a bit heavier than I thought it would be but it's beautiful really lovely and I think that will just look so beautiful made up into that Vogue jumper and whilst I think that it's probably more suited to winter time I think you know leading into spring on sort of coolish frosty days like we're still having at the minute I think this will be pretty perfect so I'm looking forward to having a go at that right I'm just going to put this back in the dryer because it's still wet and needs to finish off drying so that's my first make the next one I'm going to make which I think I'm going to do a bit of a sew along to is McCall's 6891 now this is an old pattern for a shirt dress and I am planning to make view A which is the sleeveless version in blue at the top now I thought I'd made this pattern before because I've had this pattern a few years but I don't think I have because looking at the pattern when I've taken out the pattern envelope it is all sort of in its factory folded package as, as it came and uh, yeah I did think that I'd made this but clearly not so anyway it's classed as an easy shirt dress and it has bust starts and waist starts it looks like I don't think it's a circle skirt but it's obviously just a flared skirt it's not gathered with a notched collar and button up front and it doesn't have a yoke at the back either so it should be fairly straightforward but I do really like that I'm going to make as I say I'm going to make view A which is the blue one but I'm going to make it midi length and the fabric that I've chosen for that is this one that I got from Walton's a couple of weeks back so it's this lovely lightweight cotton sateen in black and white print and I think that will look really nice in that. This was, a, you know, a very, very reasonably priced fabric. And what I'm thinking is if I like this pattern, then I will make it up, up again in one of my Lady McElroy prints. So, yeah, so let's, so we're going to have a go at that one as well. Yeah, this pattern, it says that it's designed for, because originally I was going to pick a viscose fabric that I'd got, but then it tells me that it's designed for cotton blends chambray poplin madras whatever that is i thought that was a curry but what do i know so um so yeah it doesn't mention viscose so i think it's probably just a bit too structured around the collar for a viscose so uh so yeah so anyway i think it'll look nice in that fabric the next one i'm going to make up is another one that i've not made for years and it's because i'm obviously still in the shirt making mode is the grain line archer 
which is a it's a bit of an iconic shirt isn't it and it's this one here i haven't got a sort of a picture of the actual shirt but if i can find one i'll put it up for you but i am going to make the top version here and as i mentioned previously i've made this before a few years ago but i did find that it came up really big so i'm going to have to size down it, it was so big it felt more like an overshirt than an actual shirt and it's not designed to be fitted because it doesn't have any darts in it but even so, it was massive on me. So I am going to have to size down for that. But I'm going to use this fabric as well. That I, Again, I showed you in my Walton's fabric haul not long since, a couple of weeks ago, I think it was. It's just a lightweight shirt in cotton. And I just think that will look really nice and casual to go with jeans. So that's that one. Obviously, because I've made this before, it's, it's quite handy that the pattern the pdf is already all printed out and cut etc although i'm going to have to just size it down a little bit so it shouldn't be too much preparation to make that shirt then another shirt that i've picked out is mccall's m7575 which is this one here now i have made a mashup of this before to look like the blouse by avid seamstress which basically i think i used view d which is that one there and mashed it with another pattern um to create that that top yeah but i, I don't know which other pattern it was now but anyway i'm waffling aren't i so i am going to have a go at view view a which is this one at the bottom there that checked one and i'm going to use the ruby star society faces fabric this one that i got from system in tarka um yeah i think i mentioned this before that i wanted to make a sort of fairly fitted blouse with french cuffs now these aren't french cuffs on here and I'm, what i'm going to do is i'm going to have a look at the um the cuffs that are on view d which is obviously that one there to see what they look like and if they'd be any good and give me the kind of look I'm going for. If not, then I'll have a go at just drafting my own. It can't be too difficult, can it? So, um, so yeah, so I'm looking forward to making that as well. Um, so that's gonna be my third shirt or shirt dress for this month. And then finally, I am going to have another go at making the Wanted Tea by Vanessa Pouze. I've made one version of this now in a plain black and I do really like it, but I don't think I quite got the neckline finish exactly as I want it to be. I found it a little bit difficult interpreting the instructions because the instructions are in French and I had to use Google Translate. There was just one step that sort of fried my brain a little bit and I found it a little bit awkward anyway I am going to make that again and I've I've got two fabrics that I'm going to make it out of because I want another couple of these tops the first one is this lightweight ponty Roma that I got from Stitchy Bee ages ago it's in a navy and white really lovely really Breton style and I think the picture that Vanessa uses as a pattern picture for this pattern is in this kind of stripe as well and it's lovely so yeah i am blatantly copying that um so i've got a leftover piece here i'm not quite sure if i've got enough to do it because i do like the sort of um elbow length sleeves on this but if not i do think i have another piece of this in my stash um but i've got to find it because i don't know where it is so that's going to be my first one anyway and then secondly i'm going to make a red one I've got just some plain red cotton jersey here that was in my stash and I'm going to make another one out of that too. So that is it really. I think I've got one, two, three, four, five, five tops including two shirts and a shirt dress. So that's six things I've got to make in March which is plenty isn't it really considering we're a week in now I haven't yet filmed my January makes or my February makes obviously we've been so busy the last especially the last week what with the floods and everything that it's just gone out the window so I think I'm going to combine the two January and February together and I will get that up probably in the next week at some point so I hope you'll follow me along anyway to see how I get on with some of these patterns and let's see yeah let's see how things go so i hope whatever you're doing or whatever you're up to you're enjoying this lovely sunny week and i will be back with you really soon take care bye